The Skies and the Mortal Tent, built by the Sons of Loss, by William Blake. The Skies and the Mortal Tent, built by the Sons of Loss. And every space where the man views around his dwelling place, standing on his own roof, or in his garden on a mound of twenty-five cubits in height, such a space is his universe. And on its verge the sun rises and sets, the clouds bow to meet the flat earth, and the sea in such an ordered space. The starry heavens reach no further, with their bent and set on all sides, where the poets turn on the veils of gold. If he moves his dwelling place, as heavens ought to move wherever he goes, on his neighborhood bewail his loss. Such are the spaces called earth, and such its dimension. A stupid thought's appearance which appears to the reasoner as of a globe rolling through voidness, it is the delusion of Ulro. The microscope knows not the office nor the telescope, or the radio of the spectator's organs, but leave objects untouched. For every space larger than the red globe of man's blood is visionary and is created by the hum of loss, and every space smaller than the globe of man's blood opens into eternity of which this vegetable earth is but a shadow. The red global is the hundred sun by loss created to measure time and space to mortal man every morning.